Good afternoon and welcome to Apex Instant Tips, episode number 99, brought to you every Friday at 12.05 Eastern Time. I'm your host, Anton, and we have with us a superhero of the cinematic universe, Mishka. Mishka. Hey, I understand you're extra famous these days. I mean, I did a little post on ChatGPT and people seem to like it. Even you did, so here I am today. Excellent, excellent. Thank you for having me. You, as you know, we do a five-minute tip. You only have five minutes, but I'm going to waste a couple minutes of everybody's time before we jump into our tip because I have a message that's targeted to exactly one audience member, at least one person I hope actually watches this, and that is the Oracle Ace representative that decides whether or not you get points for a show. All right. Okay. So you may know Apex Ace. Uh, we we have to get points to to be an ace, and, and I'm an ace. You might see I got a, a, I got the vest behind me. And anyway, um, but they have a rule that your your contributions aren't supposed to be part of your job. And I've gotten a couple of them from this show that are that have bounced because they say it's part of my job. And I finally realized what it is. I think it's because I make this joke about our sponsor, Barrel House Z. Um, Barrel House Z, brewing the finest craft brew, like Guava Calling, a fruited blonde ale, available in your local packy in the greater Boston area or worldwide via something called the internet. Actually, I don't even think that's true because I don't think uh, they can ship across state or anything like that. Um, but I think it's because of my, my uh, Barrel House Z callouts that they're not giving me points. The truth is, Michelle, I don't work for Barrel House Z. They do give me free beer, which I send to guests on the show like you. So you'll probably get some free beer. Oh, yay. But they don't give me free beer for doing the show. They give me free beer because my dog ends up on their Instagram because I'm friends with the owner. And so whenever they put my dog on their Instagram, I get free beer and then I share it with guests on the show. So I think that's what's going on is I'm not getting so, I mean, I'm kind of bummed that you even mentioned that sponsor because the only reason I'm here is for my ace points, and now clearly I'm not going to be getting any ace points for being here with you today. Um, the other thing I'm wondering, you don't think it has anything to do with the fact that, you know, this show is part of the In Some Cinematic Universe? Maybe it's in some. Oh, I hadn't considered that at all. But, like, I do it on my, on my lunch break. Oh, last night we were talking about the show. What time were we, do were we doing the show last night? We were talking about 9 30. I was watching Mrs. Maisel and you're like working on the tip. I'm like, dude, we'll talk tomorrow. <laughs> it's, it's, I mean, I guess I use the in some stream yard because I don't want to pay for it myself, but I don't get this. Isn't my job. I don't get paid for this. From in some Ace program, give us our points. <laughs> I, mean, I think it's more, I, it's got to be the Barrel House Z because they actually give me something for the show. Um, so, anyway, well, coming to Barrel House Z, if you stick around after our little break, I'll show some pictures of my dog on the Barrel House. Team. Oh, yes, please. So um, I also have a Wisdom of the Week and a little um, a little bit afterwards, I'm going to talk about if you want to do exactly what we show here, a couple other steps that you need to do um, that aren't really Apex related. So I'll talk about those after after the show. Um, that was a super long intro. intro. We already long. wasted three minutes of people's time. Um, so... Uh, why don't we get going? I've got a timer. Share your screen. I'll kick off my timer. Well, I'll tell you what. Tell us what we're going to do, and then Wait. I'll the timer. So you ref you um, referenced uh, a blog post that I've written uh, lately about connecting um, an Apex app to ChatGPT. Well, actually, GPT three. Um, presented that internally yesterday to our team. Um, I had actually written a package that calls uh, the GPT-3 web service using um, Apex web service make rest request. Um, and you suggested that there was an actually uh, declarative way that I could we could um, create a REST data source and use that instead. So I've went away and I've created a REST data source, created a classic report on it to call the GPT-3 um, API and thought we could share with the audience how you could do that. So no PL SQL coding, no, just- No PL SQL. And I wanted to say actually, one thing I love about working with you, Anton, is you're always challenging us and in some to do things as declaratively as possible. So Apex obviously has all sorts of great native components. I'd gone away, I wrote a, what I thought was a pretty simple uh, package. Still has a lot of use because you still would need that if you want to 
call the API through automations or through any, any backend, but in terms of creating a user interface for a user to interact with the API directly, you could really just use a declarative REST data source. So I thought we, we could go through the process of doing that. Oh, excellent. Well, I'm going to kick off the timer right now then. Let's see what we got. Awesome. Okay. So I did start by just creating a very, very simple application. There's nothing to it, no pages, I just uh, to save us a little bit of time. So the first thing you're going to do is go to shared components and let me know if my screen is big enough. I know you were uh, getting me to plus it up a little bit before. Are you in the right app? I see, I see a REST data source already. Let's see. I'm going, to, I'm going to reset your timer because that's really not fair. <laughs> reset my timer. This is the app. All right. Not that we practice this or anything, right? All right. Um, Shared components. REST data sources. We're going to create a new REST data source from scratch. AI. This is the endpoint you want to call. And I'm going to give all of this in, in uh, this, so you don't have to, you don't have to take a screenshot or anything. It's all available. So you're just clicking through. Just clicking through, no pagination. All right, over here, you are going to select HTTP header, authorization, error. And over here, you're going to enter your API key that you get from OpenAI when you sign up for the OpenAI API. Can I get you to re repeat that? Because you said something first and then that. Does it capitalize? What's the, what goes before the, the key right there? Right. Bearer with a capital B-E-A-R-E-R -E -E space your API key. Great. All right. I'm just gonna, we've created this before, so I'm gonna leverage the one that we have created before. But if you're setting this up for yourself for the first time, that's how you set it up with the authorization and bearer token. Now I'll go to advanced. Oh, okay. All right, this is specific to the uh, GPT um, API. What you need to do over here is put in Content type, application JSON, static. It's a post request. Now, in the body, now, there's lots of documentation on the OpenAI site about the different parameters. The prompt is the key. This is where you're telling um, the API the, the AI, what it is that you're looking for. You could parameterize um, the model that you're calling. We're calling hard coding that we're calling text DaVinci 3. Invite you to take a look at the playground. There's all sorts of other models that you can experiment with this. You're is halfway. I'm halfway. All right, so we're just gonna parameterize the prompt and we are going to discover. All right, we're gonna create the rest data source. The last thing we want to do is go to our operation, our post operation, add in a parameter. Let's give it a default. All right, we've got our REST data source. Let's go in, let's create a page, classic report. We're going to make a report on our REST data source that we just configured. Open AI, gonna create the page. Should I try running that? One minute to go. One I'd minute. Keep I'd keep going. <laughs> All right. Let's add in quickly. Oh, my gosh. Let's create a page item. This is going to be our prompt. Area. Let's move it up here. 
Let's create a button. All right. Let's submit that. I'm just going to get it to submit the page. Where's the submit the page? All right. We're going to go to our region here. Prompt. Sorry. We need to. Our prompt is our page item. Look, this is All really. Right. That's it. All right. You got, you got 10 seconds. Let's 10 see what seconds. We got. Let's see what we got. So did we make it? Does it work? It looks like it's definitely thinking about it, right? All right, yeah. Let's see what we get. So that's our five minutes. I'd say- My heart is right, Those, that was- that was five minutes happened so fast, but I think it actually worked. I think that the challenge here is chat GPT is itself, um, or GPT in general is slow these days because it's so popular right now. Um, and if you don't give it any prompt, which I don't think we have a prompt yet, it's gonna be null. I think it takes a long time. Um, so right. I don't know. Not erroring out. <laughs> Not yet. About it. Yeah. Um, we'll give it another second. While we're doing that though, I'm going to, I'm going to talk a little bit about, um, what you have to do in order to get this to work. Yep. So the only thing, um, that we didn't do here was actually create an API key and, and that kind of thing. While, while this is coming, oh, there it is. Okay. Let's, let's give it a try. Let's see if it worked. All right. So we need a prompt. Go on. Um, what is the Tufts mascot? Oh my gosh. Tufts? Yep. Mascot. Uh, Tufts? Yeah, that's my daughter's college. Does anybody know? Anybody want to take a guess? Let's see if you can beat ChatGPT. Um, yeah, Plamen's saying we'll be lucky to get a reply at this time of the day. Uh, this is correct. The Tufts mascot is, the, is Jumbo the Elephant. Pretty, yeah. pretty cool. Actually, one of the reasons where this is useful, so and as Plamen says, we'll be get we'll, we'd be lucky to get a response at the end of the day. Um, Lauren, who I work with, she's been trying to get an API key. She, well, she's been trying to get into uh, Chat GPT. She's not even able to sign up. It keeps telling her we're at capacity. Come back later. She says, but I really want to be able to use these AI capabilities. I said, you know what? The API usually works. I'll just give you a little backend access through the API. So this is sort of uh, how this came about internally. It's, uh, That's a good point. I, I actually find the API, like you said, to work even if the like the website for chat right. GPT. Exactly. That's that's great. No, that's a good point. Um, so what else? Yeah. So we, we finished our five minutes. Let's let's just say if you came in for five minutes, um, look at the show notes. I'll give you everything you need to recreate this. We're going to spend a few more minutes talking about about this. We've got another tip associated to this, which Michelle is about to show right now. And then the week we got this show is jam packed this week with stuff. I mean, we're, we usually waste people's time for like 10 minutes. We're going to waste people's time for 12 or 13 today. Um, so, no, so, uh, Plumman, uh, that's a good question. Do you get, um, uh, uh, a confidence score? Answer to that one. Um, I don't think there's a, that's a good question. I'd have to take a look at the elements of the response. I'm not sure I've seen anything that tells you about the confidence score. I'm, I'm pretty seen sure you don't. You saw um, one of the parameters that we hard, hard coded at 0 0.7. That's called the temperature. Um, and it's anything from zero to one. And in terms of the AI, the closer you are to zero, uh, it's it's sort of a uh, an indicator of the randomness or, or probability of, of, of the AI not being right, but the, the number of times it would have encountered that response in its training. Um, 0.7 tends to lean towards sort of more creativity. Zero would be, you know, if, if you use zero, you can be pretty or more confident in the results, but the results, the response doesn't give you, I'm pretty sure I'll double check that, the confidence score. Yeah, um, I think everything you see on the screen is what you get in the response right now. So I don't, I don't see um, what it is. Um, right. 
Right. So uh, in the Jumbo, not Dumbo the elephant. That's right. In fact, it is Jumbo the elephant. Not just their, their mascot isn't just an elephant. It's a specific elephant, Jumbo. So Chat GPT was pretty good on this one. Or Chat or GPT-3. Um, so what do you have here for us, Michelle? What's going on now? Ah, okay. So, so listen, how do you think, what do you think is going to happen here? Do you have I think it's going to air out. Why do you think it's going to air out? Because those double quotes are going to get pushed into that, that Jason um, uh, body that you put in there, and it's going to it's gonna mess up the Jason. All right. I don't know if we even, I'm not even going to try it just in, well. We can it's going to say, how do you say? And then it's going to be like, uh. Okay. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, oh, it actually picked it up. Oh, you know what it is? You got two double, you got two quotes. I bet you if you only had one quote, it might. Uh, uh, okay. Know. Let's see what we got. I mean, no, I mean like just one quote, just one double quote, one double quote. All right. There you go. Now I think it's going to, uh, oh, look at that. Well, I don't know why it's working. Um, sometimes it won't under this circumstance, but I still think you should do uh, what you're going to show. All right. So here you go. On the prompt feature where we said, this should be an item. Going to recommend oh, you I use. Anyway, go ahead. Yeah, I'm curious. You'll... Yeah, because you're submitting the page. You're not doing it on a partial page refresh. Oh. If you're a partial page refresh, then that's would... the difference, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So the recommendation is to use Apex JSON Stringify, and here it would be P to prompt. Right. That. Yeah. That. Right. We were we yeah, I submitted the page. We were doing the testing with the uh, partial page refresh earlier. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. And that's a pretty important little point that you, you do want to stringify the results that you're pushing in there because you've got it you've built up this JSON in advance. So uh, I think this is a this is a great little tip within a tip though. Anytime that you're if anytime that you're injecting into a JSON string, you want to do that. So, um, uh, there are a lot of delays seems that, yeah, well, they do keep telling us that they're scaling up. There's a, a pro premium version coming, so that'll probably help them scale up their service and their servers. Um, but yes, it's, it's definitely yesterday when we were doing internal demos, it was very, very, um, very slow. Yeah. So, um, I, I think I, what I'll do is it's probably, it's probably worth me just continuing this topic for a second. I wanted to show people um, exactly what you would do if you, so we have, we have this application built and it's on my GitHub. So I'll share my screen. Um, uh, oops, I'm sharing the wrong screen. Let me share the right one. Uh, sorry about that, folks. Uh, present, share screen. Uh, it's, ay, ay entire screen boom okay here we go so here's this is the app this app is out on my github so we'll publish this link but right here it's the fgpt3 app so if you want this application you can grab it right here all you have to do once you have this app once you install this application you need to go out to open api and you click sign up yeah once you've signed up you're going to get a screen that looks like this you go down to api keys and you create a new security key. So you'll create your security key and you'll copy it. And you only get to see it once. This is it, man. Copy it now. You're never going to get it again. <laughs> but you, you got it. Okay. So we've got the security key. You'll come back to your app builder. You'll go to, it doesn't really matter what application you go to, but you go to shared components. You could actually get there through utilities, I think, as well. But what you're looking for is um, the, I, I usually do it through shared components. So I'm going to go that way. Um, you go to shared components, you go to uh, credentials. So here's an app. Shared components, web credentials over on the right. Here we go. You pick up your, your credential. So our, this is our credential right here. You're gonna put in, it's already gonna have HTTP header. You're gonna have to put in the credential name of authorization. And then you're going to put in your bear, your bearer token is bearer, blah, 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 blah. That's what you, we all saw that it's this right here, 
right? That's what you're going to put in. You're going to put this string just like that in your, in your secret. Okay. I'm going to click cancel here. So I don't break it. I'm going to come over to my API key. I'm going to delete that one. because I don't want you guys using it. Boom. So that's it. So you can download it. You have, and then you'll have this app just like that. What's Tuss mascot? Let's see if I got it it's still working. Good. All right. Um, we'll put that link in the description of the video after once it's published. Mark, I don't know if you have access to the link already, if we can put it in the chat for now. Um, oh, yeah, I think it want... is. Yeah? Yeah, I think um, they gave, um, I think I gave it. Um... There you go. Yeah, that's it. Um, super. Um, okay. And so, um, do all this. If you only came in for five minutes, well, it's been more than that. So beat it. Uh, but do all the things you're supposed to do if you like this video. Like this video. But I have, um, I have a wisdom of the week, and I have pictures of my dog. <laughs> That's why we've got 35 people still on. They were waiting for that dog. That's uh... <laughs> all right. So um, wisdom of the week is uh, when you every line of code costs money to write and more money to support. Um, and I picked this wisdom of the week, Michelle. Why? Because you're, like I mentioned at the outset, you're always challenging us to use the declarative features of Apex. I, um, uh, I still think that my package has value <laughs> for for automations, but you know, if you really always go for declarative first, less code means it's easier to support, maintain, um, less I money. Love your package. I love your package. There's no. No disrespect, I'm sure you know that. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, great. Uh, well, okay, and now on to what everybody's really been waiting for. Doggy, doggy, doggy. So let me share my screen. Oop. Did I add, add it, remove it? I don't know how to do this. There we go. That's Theo with a little oh. bear. See, look at that little guy. That was, um, that was when he was young. Um, He's gotten a little bit older. There he is as a llama. That's not really him. That's a llama, but it kind of looks like <laughs> But this is him uh, more or less today. Um, oh, uh, have you seen groomers that you, you can take your dogs to groomers that will like paint them like as a giraffe, as a lion, <laughs> as a panda. Make them I think it's hysterical. I would do it in a second. My family is all totally, told me if I ever totally did that to my dog, like that. they totally would divorce. They would like. <laughs> I'd be up for it. Awesome. Very cute. Thank you for sharing. Um, well, um, I don't know if um I don't know if we'll get any points for this, Michelle, or not, but I, I did my best. Yeah, I did too. That's you know, we can always hope. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you liked the show, like the show. Like the show. Send your mom a letter about it. Make sure she knows. Um, I know my mom watches never, but <laughs> See you next week. Bye, everyone. Thanks for joining.